So, fun story, we stayed in Apricot? Apricot last night, which is about 150 miles south of uh, San Francisco. Francisco. And fun fact, uh, the US or certain states in the US are very much like Amsterdam now where pot is legal. Everywhere. And you know, well, it's, it's legal at a state level, but it's illegal at a federal level. It's weird. Anyway, so we were sitting in our hotel room in this little hick-ass town last night. The hotel was really good though. The ho no, the hotel was really good. But as we are sitting in this little town, uh, in this little hotel room, we are watching just TV and whatnot. Anyway, I'm sitting there, I'm going, what the fuck is that? What is that smell? And I looked at Kaylee and I said, what did you do? <laughs> She goes, not fucking me. Anyway, we've realised what the smell was. We've realised it was pot. And we're going, what in the actual It was fuck? like I could not breathe in our yeah, room. Yeah, Because we were both also sitting on top of the air conditioner. Yeah. So anyway, it took us a few minutes. And then we've realised, ah, oh, you fucking idiot. Walked out the front and there's old mate who <laughs> doesn't want to smoke near his room. So he comes down and smokes in front of ours. And all of these fucking pot fumes are just <laughs> getting sucked up. Event. Yeah, just getting sucked up by our aircon, and our aircon's just pumping it into our room. So our room absolutely stunk. He soon knew though. Yeah, yeah, no, he knew. As soon as I walked out, and I'm like looking at him like, what are you doing? And then he, he's just like, oh, oh. And I was like, fuck off. Literally. Go contaminate your own fucking room. Yeah. And he wasn't... enough shit to deal with, let alone fucking pot smell. <laughs> That's the thing, like, our, our room was downstairs, his room was upstairs, but he came downstairs to do it. Fuck off. I mean, like, everybody knows how anti-drugs I am. I don't like taking... The fact that I have to take Neurovin every fucking ten minutes for headaches kills me. I don't like drugs. Pot especially. So that's our so story. There you go. All Going to the Winchester house today. Oh yes, Winchester house, which is only 111 miles away. But that's you know. our goal, though, because we've discovered that if we keep pushing as hard as we normally do, we're going to run be, out of stuff yeah, to do. Yeah, we're going to be at Wednesday. No, we're we going to be, be at, in Vegas by Thursday. Well, we're going to be at Sunday with nothing to do. Yeah, so we're just going to like cruise along yep. like proper road trip people and be like, oh look. Yeah. You got to be like normal road trip people Instead and not like truck drivers. It, yeah, like let's just get there and be done with it. Yeah. But it is already 93 degrees. I'm fucking over this. Which time. is around about, what, 28? Somebody yeah. else worked that out. 93 degrees Fahrenheit? I think it's like 30-ish. Mm. Feels like 30-ish. Okay, we're out. Bye! No. <laughs> Walmart Adventures. He's back. Ooh. It's Chucky! Oh wow, it is too. Oh, that's cool. It's Chucky from the Rugrats. I know. And it's Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. I love Rocco's Modern Life. Oh my god, Walmart has just come up. Oops. Ooh. I love you, Raggy. <laughs> Do it again. I love you, Raggy. <laughs> Ooh, you are a deal wear it around. <sighs> you could cos you could dress up for, for Comic Con. Not Comic Con. For the convention. Nah. Please. No, <laughs> but seriously, Christy, when you're watching this, because we hope that you do watch these, Ben would love this. Okay, so... Oh, it sucks, doesn't it? Did you think we were taking come a on, photo? So we've driven 400 miles from... Where were we? Anaheim. Um, yeah, Anaheim. From Anaheim to San Jose to see this place. This is the Winchester House. Winchester Mystery House. 
history because it's haunted. It is ha apparently it's haunted. I can't watch the movie. I watched it on a plane. The movie's not accurate. The movie's not accurate. Anything touches me or moves out at me, bang, I'm in the car. <laughs> the movie's not accurate, but she, the, the woman that built this house, Sarah Winchester, was uh, nuts. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Although in the movie she's not. She just she sees the dead things. In real life, she was nuts. She was given uh, fifty percent of the uh, Winchester Rifle Company. With so she was a millionaire. Oh, and and she, she thought that she, if she kept building. In 1880 something, or so, when her husband died, she was given, I think it was half a million dollars a year just to live on. <laughs> and she also had a controlling asset of the company. Uh, what else? Also, oh, she just decided to pour. Anyway, she had this like superstitious thing, or she was. Uh, depends if you go she, to the movie. She, I'll know after the tour, hopefully. But I she know just what kept building and building and building continuously until the day she died there was never no construction happening at this house that's correct it was here it was happening 24 hours a day seven days a week 365 days a year people were building onto this house this house is 160 rooms and it occupies six acres okay mm. we can live here mm. if it's haunted we not live here and then we <coughs> discovered that this friday is friday the 13th Mm. Six days we'll till Friday the 13th, we'll be in Vegas. Oh, no. we'll look at the pictures, hot. Right? I don't like Vegas. It's hot. Alright, let's have a look. Jeez. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, the tour was really cool. People believe anything that they see on movies. I do though too, <laughs> so I can't talk. Yeah, but you didn't think that she actually nailed 13 nails into the I'm doors. Honest. No, you didn't. <laughs> I know you didn't. I also page people. Like, I had to go up to my mum because they said specifically, do not touch the banister. Old mate coming down the stairs, he's like nearly ripping it off. I'm like, mate, stop it! Stop it, it's fucking historical value! Fuck! Mind you, they've been letting people go through this house for nearly a hundred years. Yeah. Five months she'd been dead for before. So my pick for the day was the Winchester Mystery House. And then it was Kaylee's turn to pick. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> what did we pick, Kaylee? Oh, what you got there? Everyone that knows me knows that you're the fucking donut fiend. No, no, Why honestly, this time I'm not. Names? Yeah, they came here for cool names. There was one called the Michael Jackson. <laughs> it was chocolate donut covered in white sugar. Why? If you'd like anyone to be white. <laughs> and then there was an. <laughs> There's another one called Elvis. No, the Elvis Killer. Dead Elvis. Dead Elvis. But you're not, not enjoying your peanut butter and bacon. Why would you pick that? It's was... It was just bacon and maple syrup. I got a cookie monster. Is that good? Mine's delicious. We need to cut. I can't. We can't.
disgusting. Put that in the bin. Ugh. So, fun fact. Oh, that is fucking rank. I know. Why yeah. the fuck wouldn't you believe me in the first place? No, it was not dramatic effect. Otherwise, I would have been eating it again by now. I don't want this. Throw it out. That's filthy. That's my fucking oreo. That's disgusting. I will give that to the dogs. Oh. <laughs> you are you serious? <laughs> I want me to film eating. Oh, this one is delicious. I can get that taste of that horrible one out. Oh, we also got the buy one, buy two, get one free. The suicide guy. Or. Ooh, can I have that one? Yeah. Shot himself. He's full of raspberry jam. When you bite into him, he's gonna die. Your one's nice. I know, that right? one was shit. That one's I, so shit. I can't believe the taste of that one. So, a lot of people know bacon in America is shit, regardless of what it is. Mm. Alright? Canadian bacon's not too bad, but American bacon, just shit. Burnt to the shit house. It's crispy. It's, not real bacon. it's crap. <laughs> that was dog food. Also, that wasn't dog food. I wouldn't give that to the dogs, no way. Mm. Also, that was, um, you don't, I know for a fact now, I know for sure, you don't put bacon on, pan, on, on um, donuts. Put them on pancakes, but not donuts. Put it's disgusting. Put bacon on pancakes. Yeah. Just be quiet. Peanut butter, avocado, and... Mm, yum. Peanut butter, avocado, and what else? Peanut butter, avocado, and cheese. Oh. I have to fucking sit here and be filmed eating. That's a lot of jam. <laughs> a lot of jam. That is a lot of jam. I want to try that one. San Francisco at Alcatraz. That is the rock. Oh, yeah. Kaylee reckons she could swim it. Totally. Can't. No. Can't swim Probably. that. Apparently, three people did survive it though. But over there, I think is the Golden Gate Bridge. Pier 39, and this is the seal area. No, he is. He's the last one. All the others have gone. They're just chilling. Or he's just chilling. There's the sea lions. No. Alcatraz is that way. Do not drop your phone. <laughs> I'm not going in. And then the seal. I like San Francisco. It's nice and cool. Like, I'm freezing. I need a jump off. Go. In fact, don't even come to this fucking shithole. There's my update. So, we arrived in San Francisco after San Jose, which was great. 
San Jose. Oh, sorry, San Jose. That's right. But fuck that place too at this point. No, what's wrong with that place? Uh, I just fuck America at this exact moment. So, thought we'll go to Pier 39, get a coffee, have a quick wander around before we head to our hotel. Because we've been there before and we thought, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, pretty nice place. Parked the car on the main street. The main street, people. There was at least... A it, thousand tourists there. It was Burke Street or fucking... Yeah. They're, like... Anyway, that's fine. That's all good. We leave all our shit in the car because we're not long. We're 45 minutes at tops. Again, main fucking street. I come back to the car. Well, we come back to the car and I said to Shannon, what's that on the ground? It's a fucking window. And all our shit's gone. Our bags... Our computers, our hard drives, the limited edition fucking Ray-Bans that I brought yesterday, or the, the other way, other day, uh, $1,800 in cash. In about a quarter of a mile, Most upsettingly, the our passports, our left. passports are gone. It's now 2am and we have successfully gone to the police station and reported it. Which was good. That okay. That is the top marks for San Francisco. Right turn the police gentleman was amazing. He was lovely. And when I started crying in, in their front desk, he was more than happy to like offer me tissues and everything else I needed because I was having what I thought was a nervous breakdown. That's all well and good. Then we get to the hotel, and old mate, ah. Oh, don't you watch the news you don't leave your stuff in the car we have like 500 a month actually no sorry that was the police officer he said to me that they have 500 car break-ins a month in his sector alone and there's 10 sectors in san francisco i'm like wow that's a big number yeah then old mate at the fucking motel though oh don't you watch the news you know it's like we talk about it every day no mate i don't watch your fucking news i have been traveling around your country I don't watch the news. Why would I? Anyway, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> then what happened? Um, There's something else in there that I'm like, just fuck off. <laughs> just, just fuck right off. Just like, everything. Oh, no, no. Okay, so this wasn't a fuck you off. So then we arrive because we need to swap cars because our car has no fucking window. Oh, yeah. So, that's all right. right. We drove the fucking 40 miles back to the airport because it's the only one open 24 hours, which is fair enough because it's 2 a.m. I don't expect them to be open everywhere. There's four other cars here that have all had their windows broken and had their stuff stolen. Four. At 2 a.m. What is going on? Why is there... Okay, why didn't we know that San Francisco is now dangerous and that San Francisco is not the safest place in the world. I feel violated. I feel sick. I feel ill at the fact that some freak out there has my passport, my address, my Esther, my hard drive with my photos on them for the past 10 years. Like, can log into Shannon's laptop and see what he's been doing work-wise, everything. Has Shannon's AirPods, has his... $300 bloody Oakley bag that we bought in Japan four freaking months ago. Has my wallet. Has my cash. Has has Jamie and Claire. And they have my fucking pop vinyls, this cheeky fucks. Like, they actually have my fucking Jamie and Claire. They have the hoe bag's faces. They have the three faces of Riri that we brought over. They have all our charges. I have one charger that I found in the car. They have Shannon's Apple Watch charger. They have our portable battery packs. In about a quarter of a mile, keep to the right. They have they, corded headphones. They have fucking Yeah, they have all all my sets of headphones. They have everything that of was importance because they were the bags that I always take inside first and that the ones that Shannon like we carry it with us all the time. Except for this one moment for 45 minutes when we thought we'd park on the main fucking street. Main fucking street, real touristy area. You think somebody would have 
would have seen it for sure. Oh, there is no way a thousand fucking people didn't watch it happen. Anyway, that's my fucking rant. <laughs> so this video really is ending doom and gloomy, and it probably will be like this for the next three days because I just I hate this fucking place now. Oh, we have to go to the consulate too. Oh yeah, Monday because they're not open on the fucking weekend, obviously, and that's fine too. But you would think that when like slight emergency that I'm in the country and the only fucking ID I have is my driver's license from a different country and half the plot like they don't they don't believe like they look at it and go what's this for every fucking mile, thing left turn then freeway entrance <sighs> on your right but I would like to point out that I have the bestest friends at home because after I have already put my on your right. fuck the world status on the internet We've had so many messages, and one ho bag in particular. Yeah, you're amazing, ho bag. We love you, and my mum. We love you too. I'm sorry that you're somebody, some junkie's got your face. Yeah, and I personally hope that the junkie that stole our stuff shoots it so far up their arm that they fucking their eyeballs pop out of their head in the first like thirty seconds of their fucking hit. I hope they don't even get to enjoy their hit. I really don't. Shannon also drove on the wrong side of the road and I didn't Green even get angry because I was... Onto US 101. Oh, old mate over there. That's uh, probably the fucking junkie that took my stuff. Mind you, with with we've changed cars. We've got a completely Even different car now. Keep to the right. I don't like it. US I don't understand the GPS. South. The lights are shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's just gone from bad to worse now. And every homeless person I see, and I understand, <laughs> yeah, and I understand that it's not, that's not how you should look at things. Like, it's, it, hey, it might not have been a homeless person, and it might not have been a junkie. I fucking dare say it would be, though. So every time I see a poor homeless person, my first thing is, do they have a Mickey Mouse bag and a fucking Oakley bag? I'm also waiting for them to turn on Shannon's iPad, iMac, whatever fuck it is, and it pings. Because if it pings, my God, I'll go to Walmart and then they will be all over. We have to go now. I can't, I can't do this and concentrate on where we're going. And someone has to help Shannon drive. Because this GPS isn't fucking doing it. <laughs> What's that fucking I don't noise? Know. All right, okay, we've got to go. <laughs> Day 20, whatever the fuck we're on. Day 20, fuck San Francisco. Yeah. Day, fuck you, San Francisco. That's what day it is. Oh, that's the other thing. What the fuck? The GPS isn't working. We're going to end up fucking China. At this we're never going to get the rest of our fucking bags. <laughs> that was the other thing they got was all my tickets to the Outlander convention. Every single fucking one. I don't know how I'm going to do that or fix that problem at all. Probably won't. <laughs> Good night.